I'm Todd Grisham, and how about this venue, ladies and gentlemen, Brooklyn Hall. Next to me is Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Nice to be here with you. Time for our tale of the tape. Introducing first, Mickey Ward. He stands 173 centimeters tall with a 178 centimeter reach. Irish Mickey Ward. If you're looking for heart, courage, and determination, this is your guy. One of the toughest fighters that's ever laced him up. There can only be one, Lomachenko, Ukraine's finest. He's a former world champion in multiple weight classes. This is gonna be an intense stale before the fight starts. The fighters are ready to go. Let's. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Lowell, Massachusetts, here is the exciting junior welterweight world title challenger, Irish. Nikki Ward, fighting out of the... What a pleasure to be in this unique environment. Every seat has been taken for tonight's match. This is one of my favorite venues. Get the right fight, you got a night of fun. And what I say you must obey. Good luck. And there's the bell for round one. It's all offense, all the time. There's a counter shot. Oh. Threw the hook, didn't land. Beautiful counter punch. Catch and shoot with the left counter, good job. Good counter-punching for both these athletes. We welcome you to this beautiful theater where every seat has been sold, but the fans will only need the edge. We expect a standing ovation when these two are done. This is that place you want to say, I thought that, I feel that. And now we are here. You gotta like what you're seeing as we reach the halfway point of this round. Good left counter that lands. Nice job landing that left counter punch. He gets out of the way of that left hand. That's a scoring left hand. Competitive round with 10 seconds left. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. You can't leave it up to the judges. And here's the bell for round two. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Counterpunch is my favorite kind of fighter. A good counterpuncher, they're the people that make the history of that sport. Just misses with that jab. He just missed with that left jab. I can't 
can't believe we're only halfway through the round. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? If you want to corner an outside fire, make them fight off the walls because they don't want to do that. They don't want to stand still. They want to move left to right. Pin him down. Throw a blanket on him. seen this fighter in the past go 12 rounds and not have a mark on their face. That's what happens when you stick and move, you hit, and you don't get hit. You can't connect with that right hook. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. And there's the bell for round three. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. No stamina, no injury, but still throwing punches. Smaller fighters have those fast hands and good footwork, but what else? This is why I love the little guys. This is exactly why I love them. Look at them, toe to toe, half for half. Well, mano, well, mano, they're letting the shots go. Way through the round. Not many of the people in the division hit like them. Another scoring shot there. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? I've seen certain fighters that can repel on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. You miss with that jab. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. On to the fourth we go. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch at you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. what you're seeing as we reach the halfway point of this round. He blocks the hook. He misses with that jab.
He parries that right jab away. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. So there you have it. It is official now, and that is not the way anyone wanted this fight to end. No complaints there at all. The crowd agree. I agree. The ref knew exactly what he was doing. So you know what? Great shout. I look forward to fight number two.